Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a brand new ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS G16 2023 model. And in this video I'm going to take you on step by step how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM on this one. Even if you go to official website for this one for all the G16 model, in the website they tell you that maximum RAM capacity is at 32 gig, but that's actually not true. You can upgrade this one and use the, all the 64 gig RAM without any problem. We have upgraded in the, in the past, you know, about two months ago, one to 64 gig without no problem to a stick of 32 gig. In this video, I don't have the 32 gig, but you can upgrade it without no problem and it will work just fine. So I'm going to put a workshop tile on the bottom. Make sure you power off the laptop always when you want to do these upgrades. And on the bottom, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There's a two types of screws, short screws and long screws. So we're going to grab ourselves the screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. And we are going to use a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, get the basic set. And for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With all this set, let's get it started. First thing first, very importantly, when you put the laptop upside down, the front is facing you. You do not want to touch the right corner in the front screw. Leave this one for the end. I'll explain in a second why. You're going to remove the second one, third, and the fourth in the front row toward the, toward the left. These are the short screws and you can keep them in one pile. Now, the rest of the screws that goes from the side all the way back, back mid here, and the hidden one in the middle, is like a camouflage right there. These are the long screws. We're gonna go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in a separate pile. Also, if you guys find these videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws except this one in the corner, and the reason is because this screw has a little C-lock on the other side. That means the screw will not come out entirely. You just have to loosen up. And the C-lock, what it does, it helps you to push the cover away from the palm rest so you can stick the opening tool in between them. So as soon as I start rotating this, you're gonna see a gap opening in there. There's a tiny gap that opened up right in here. I can even stick my fingernail in there. So we're gonna take advantage of this gap and we're gonna put the guitar pick right in there and we're just gonna twist it. You wanna hear those click sounds. Those are the clips are getting loose. So you wanna hear those click sounds in the front and you wanna do the side. I'm gonna stick about one or two millimeter of the guitar pick. You don't wanna stick the whole thing inside, just the tip. And you want to do the left and right side, stick the guitar pick in there. And once you do the front and the side, that's all you want to do. You want to lift it up from here, wiggle it around, and then you want to hear those tiny clicks that they snap the tiny hooks on the sides. Okay? Now there is a bottom cover. And right away, you can see this. Beautiful heat sinks, heat pipes, fans. There's a fan for a PHC chip and nice, nicely made design. And the rams are right under this cover. To you can bend yours backward, but I'm just gonna rip it out as an adhesive just for the video. You don't have to rip it yours. I'll put it back there. Now, to do the RAM upgrade, you do not need to disconnect the battery, but if you don't want to disconnect the battery, you have to remove one screw, two screw for this fan, and battery connector is right underneath. But you do not need to. As long as you power off the laptop, you're safe to work on the uh, RAM. These are a DDR5 RAMs. So to remove the RAM, all you want to do, you want to put the fingers on the side of the RAM, and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. And then all you want to do, you want to pull it, slide it backward in the same direction. These are DDR5. To remove the second one, same thing. Put your fingers on the side. Ram will come out in 45, and you want to pull it towards yourself. Now you can change these ones to uh, leave the compatible 32 gig and 32 gig. So you can go 64 gig, or you can go 16, 16 for 32 gig. 
Once you get the new RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. So if I put it the other way around, let's say if I want to put it, some RAMs have double-sided chip, that's fine. If I want to put it that one, it will not go through. So, so the orientation of the chip doesn't matter as long as the notch matches the notch on the DIMM. You want to bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector and then simply you want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to hear these triggers open and close right there. Same thing in here, second one. Put it inside there, all the way inside the DIMM, make sure the connector goes all the way in and push it towards the motherboard and these triggers, they open and they close just like that. Now, once you have the RAM in there, all you want to do, you want to remove, put this cover back on. This cover helps because sometimes people put the laptop in the backpack and banging around inside the backpack can uh, trigger these clips to open up and the RAM can pop out and could hit the bottom foil tape, bottom case, which is conductive. So to protect it, they'll put this one here and it will protect the RAMs. If it, they pop out, they don't hit anything from the bottom cover. And also it protects it from any you know, backslash from the water drips, anything from here directly towards the, you know, what's called, towards the RAMs. Now that we have the RAM in here, you want to grab the bottom case, put it on top, straight, and then you want to push the corners. Make sure those nice clicks on. You don't want to push this side, just every corner except the one that you have the screw. Now you gently want to tighten up this screw and it will push, pull the cover to itself. And the last thing down here is to stop putting the short screws in the front and the long screws all the way to the side towards the back. Just remember a tip. When you power on the laptop, it might take five to 10 seconds or even 15 seconds to do a, for motherboard, do a mem check, which is called a memory check. So don't panic when you power on, just wait uh, five to 10 seconds. If after five to 10 seconds or 15 seconds, you don't get anything on the screen, don't panic, power off the laptop, replace the RAM, just switch the places of the RAM. Just put the new one or just doesn't matter what you do, just switch the from the top to the bottom, the bottom one to the top side and power on. And that will initiate the boot up for you. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.